That will do nicely. I have everything I need to read the paper. That is most pleasing. I have all the pieces. All that remains is for me to assemble them properly. No, that is... The paper holder is now in place. Now on to securing a heat source. Daisy Armstrong, c'est ça. I now know the real name of the dead man. And I know why he had to leave America. Monsieur Poirot, I have documented that case in my scrapbook. I remember where the case. Ten years ago, Colonel Armstrong was an Englishman. He married the daughter of Linda Arden, the most famous tragic American actress of her day. They lived in the city of New York and had one child, three years old, whom they adored. Two men snatched Daisy from the arms of her nurse maid. The police were convinced that the young woman had some knowledge of the crime and questioned her relentlessly. The enormous ransom was paid, but two weeks passed with no word from the kidnappers. And then there was a break in the case. Two brothers named Perkinson were identified by witnesses and tracked to a farmhouse somewhere outside of the city. The Perkinsons were arrested at the farmhouse where they and a woman not identified had been hiding. They were tried and convicted. At their trial, they implicated Cassetti, not only as the mastermind of the scheme, but the man who shot the little girl. The tearful testimony of the Perkinson brothers surprised many, but they admitted their guilt. And in America, the crime carries the maximum penalty. During the sentencing, the Perkinson brothers tried to make the escape. Jeffrey was captured, but not his brother Robert. And Cassetti had vanished without a trace. Madame Armstrong gave birth to a dead child born prematurely, and she herself died. The evening after the double funeral, a broken-hearted Colonel Armstrong returned to the family brownstone on Park Avenue, locked himself in his study, and shot himself. A body was discovered in the New York Harbor shortly after Jeffrey Perkinson died in the electric chair. It was identified by a relative as Robert Perkinson. If he was a suicide or killed by Cassetti, hmm, was never known. Cassetti was still at large, seen now here, now over there, and still more tragedy was to follow. The police refused to believe the hysterical denials of the poor girl, hoping she might lead them to Cassetti. In a fit of despair, the poor girl threw herself from a window and was killed. It was proved afterwards that she was absolutely innocent of any complicity in the crime. Cassetti was the man, there can be no doubt. He had used the same methods in the past, hired men down on their luck to do the dangerous work, but taking most of the ransom for himself, and always killing the victim if the police were closing in. He had many enemies, that one. I cannot regret that he is dead. I agree with you, mademoiselle. Still, it is not necessary that he should be killed aboard one of our trains. There are other places. Indeed. The investigation continues. And we progress, no? And now is the time for the assembling of the evidence. Collect all passports, gather information about our suspects, seek out any clues, follow every possible trail. Goodness, it seems to have gotten extremely cold in here. 
Mademoiselle, the engineer has just informed me. A rock from the avalanche, it struck the undercarriage of the coal tender. The pipe that carries the steam that heats the train is damaged. It must be repaired, or we will all freeze to death. Could this be coincidence? Either way, I'd better look into it immediately. This door is... I would like a key to the baggage car. Please, take one of mine. Why do you have more than one key to the baggage car? I often assist with the loading and unloading at the smaller stations. Sometimes I must loan a key to the handlers. Good day, monsieur. Mateo, did you see Mr. Hartman come this way just now? No, senorita. There's no power. I'll need to come up with a way to provide it with electricity. Someone has seen to it that the snowshoes, they are beyond repair, and now quite useless. Quite interesting.
I'm sure I can piece these back together.
There, it is complete. I will carefully place it into my scrapbook for further study. It's locked fast. Klaus's passport. I'll put it with the others. I've already so I enjoy winter, but only when I can look out at it from the comfort of a room with a fire crackling in the fireplace. This wash basin is shared by the two connecting rooms. The weather looks quite threatening. 